Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a number theory problem involving the sum of the digits of an integer n. So s of n, or you can call that s n, represents the sum of the digits of n, and we're trying to solve for n here. n plus s of n is equal to 2000, and we're going to be looking for the values of n. All right, so first of all, let's notice that n is a four-digit number. Why? Because if it's not, then the sum n plus s of n cannot be 2000. Okay, so starting with that assumption, n is a four-digit number. We can actually say something about n and s of n, okay? So obviously, since n is a positive integer in this case, s of n is also going to be greater than zero. But at the same time, if you think about it, a four-digit number, if it's composed of all nines, like 9999, nine, 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 then the sum is going to be 36. So uh, the sum of the digits of our number is then needs to be less than or equal to 36. That's the highest it can be, right, as a four-digit number. Now, this implies some interesting things, because if you go ahead and plug those values into the equation, you're going to notice that, for example, if s of n is near zero, then obviously you can just go ahead and subtract 2,000, right, from zero, and that's going to give you 2,000. And if you subtract 36 from 2,000, you're going to get 19 you're going to get 1964. So basically, this requires that n needs to be between 1964 and 2000. Obviously, in this case, it cannot equal 2000 because s of n cannot equal 0. Okay, now notice that in this case, we have 1 plus 9 is equal to 10, right? Okay. So any number that's greater than or equal to 1964, obviously, is going to have a sum of digits that is greater than 10, okay? So that's basically the minimum we have to have. Obviously, our, our number is not going to be 1900, but we definitely know that it's going to be greater than 10. Because if you just calculate the sum of the digits of 1964, you're going to get a value that is larger than 10. What about the maximum value? Well, if you think about all nines and one, so 1999, in other words, you're going to be getting basically 98, right? So that sum is going to be, I'm sorry, did I say 98? Okay, I meant to say 28. So this sum needs to be less than or equal to 28 because n needs to be less than 2000. So the highest it can be is 1999. And that sum is 28. Great. Now, this this inequality actually gives us something nicer than the first one, if you think about it, since s of n is going to be between those two numbers, and if you consider the fact that their sum is going to be 2000, right, you can safely say that n is going to be between 1972 and 1990. So in this case, we're basically saying that this is 2000 minus 10, and this is 2000 minus 28. They're just gonna switch around like that. Okay, great. So we did basically get some boundaries for n finally. So n needs to be between those numbers. So at this point, this is what I'd like to do. I'm gonna split this problem up, up into two cases. First case is going to involve the 1970s. So let n equals 1970 plus k where k is between 2 and 9 inclusive. This means that we're basically considering all the numbers that are 1972 through 1979. Now, in this case, obviously, we have a value for n in terms of k. So that's going to be 1970 plus k. And at this point, I'd like to remind you that our original problem said that n plus sn is equal to 2000. So what I'd like to do here is basically substitute what I have into this equation. And so hopefully I'm going to get a value for k from here. So I can replace n with 1970 plus k. How about sn? Well, if this is my number, then obviously k is less than or equal to 9. So it's kind of like a digit. The sum of the digits of this number, 1970 plus k, is going to be 1 plus 9 plus 7 plus 0 plus k, which is basically 17 plus k. So this is the n plus sn sum, and this needs to equal 2,000, right? Great. So from here, we get 2k plus 17 
is equal to 2000 minus 1970, which is 30. And this gives us 2k is equal to 13. But unfortunately, this does not give us an integer value for k because k needs to be an integer because n is an integer. Okay, so this solution is basically rejected. That means that our number is not going to be 1972 through 1979, which means that it's going to be greater or equal to 1980, if there is any solutions. Let's go ahead and look at the second case. The second case, go, case goes like this, and can be written as 1980 plus k, and k is going to be between 0 and 9 inclusive in this case, because I can have anything between or I can have anything 1980 through 1989, okay? And notice that our values are going to range in that between these two. So it can't be 1990, but it can be 1989. That's the highest that, that I can get. Okay, cool. So we'll do the same thing here. We have an equation, right? Don't we? We have an equation and it looks like this. N plus SN is equal to 2000. And I'm going to substitute. So this is going to be 1980 plus K. And SN would be the sum of the digits of this number. So 1 plus 9 plus 8 plus 0. That's going to give me 18. And plus K. That's going to be the sum of the digits of this number. Equals 2000. Let's see if we get a solution from here. So we should be getting something like 2K plus 1998 is equal to 2000. If you subtract you're going to get 2k is equal to 2 and k is equal to 1. Now, we're not looking for the values of k, obviously. And remember, our assumption was that n is equal to this. So if you go ahead and replace k with 1, then you're going to be getting the n value, which is 1981. And that is the only solution to this equation. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know, comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. At the same time, until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.